Hey guys, welcome to BP The Bible Perspective. A SWAT officer has been indicted for shooting a black man in the back. Now, with all the headlines of police officers who have been indicted, tried, and some even convicted for shooting unarmed black men or having unjust shootings, this case surprised me the most because this was a Baptist preacher. Now, before we get into it, please like and share this video and subscribe to BP, the Bible Perspective. And as always, if you have a thought or comment, add it to the comment section below. All comments are welcome. Uh, Jason Mead, former SWAT officer, has been indicted for shooting Casey Goodson Jr. in the back. Now, what's disturbing about this case, there, there are a lot of things disturbing about it. Well, I'm going to read some of them in a moment. What this case reminds us of is that when you see cops like Meade, there's a history of abuse, of abusing authority. And they, they don't get disciplined the way they should. They don't get fired. And so they live to offend again or kill again. The fact that Goodson wasn't even the target of their investigation, of their search, makes it worse. The fact that Meade shot him in the back now, why, right? What, what was the threat? The fact that what turned Meade, or what, what was it about Goodson that Meade turned his attention towards Goodson when he wasn't the target of their investigation? And again, the fact that this man is a pastor a Baptist pastor. Let me uh, just read a little bit about the story here. This was from the Columbus Dispatch. There you see the picture. And it says, the former Franklin County Sheriff SWAT Deputy Jason Meade was indicted Thursday in the death of 23-year-old Casey Goodson Jr who was shot in the back multiple times outside his homes in Northland neighborhood nearly one year ago. The incident issued by the Franklin County Grand Jury charges Meade with May 43 with two counts of murder and one count of reckless homicide. Saturday, Saturday will mark the one year anniversary of the shooting which occurred in the 3900 block of Estates Place where Goodson lived with his grandmother. And by the way, um, there were at least nine family members there. Then it happened just after Meade wrapped up work with the U.S. Marshal Service, Fugitive Task Force, and an unsuccessful search for a suspect in the area. Now, he not only was a SWAT on the SWAT team, but he was also working with the U.S. Marshal Service. Now get this, Fugitive Task Force. Goodson was not, okay, Goodson was not a part of that search. So they weren't looking for Goodson. So what made Meade turn his attention towards Goodson, ultimately shooting him in the back, but then also um, his family members were there. He, it, it was reported that Meade pointed the gun at his uncle who was holding a little girl, his daughter, and screaming at them. Okay. I want you to hear, because as I said, there's a history of, a, of abusing authority here. So let's, let me let you hear Mead in his own words and 
again, there's so many layers here. Mead is not addressing a room full of cops here. And I'm giving you just, just a minute of this. This is a 37, 37 minute um, speech, but he, 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 there's something I want you to hear that, that to me that triggered my curiosity about him. He's in a room full of pastors. So I want you to keep that in mind. You know what David did? He threw the first punch. He threw the first punch, didn't he? All this to throw the first punch. You say, what? He, I don't know. Let me tell you something. I mean, I work for the sheriff's office down in Franklin County, Columbus. I work on a tactical SWAT team. And I also work for the U.S. Marshals Task Force. I hunt people. It's a great job. I love it. Um, I got a bunch of my, my SWAT members here. And even my bosses are here. I appreciate them coming out. They're good men of God. I'm glad they came out to support us today. But that'll let you know. I've worked this job 14 years. You know, I ain't never been hit clean in the face one time. It's a fact. It ain't because I'm so good. I ain't bad, but I ain't because I'm so good. You know why? Because I learned long ago I got to throw the first punch. And I learned long ago why I'm justified in throwing the first punch. Don't look up here like, oh, police brutality. People I hit, you wish you could hit. Trust me. All right. <clears throat> All right. I, I just, I want just to kind of give you that little clip because, there's, there, again, there's, there's so many layers there. One. Notice he is aware that the statement that he's, he's making is triggering thoughts of, well, wait a minute, dude, you're talking about p police brutality. In other words, you throwing the first punch. And then he says, the people that I hit, you wish that I hit. Well, that didn't turn out so much for Casey Goodson. Goodson, did it? Did Goodson deserve to be shot in the back? See, my point is, to me, this this reveals a, 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 an authoritative attitude that cops have. And this begins the problem. Now, the fact that you can add a lot of other things to this, race being one of them, adds to it. But you start off, you could tell Mead loves being a cop. He loves his authority. And let me just say something. When when cops have this attitude, you see, you, you, he is right. It's not because you're so bad. It's because the system protects you. And normally it protects you. Until you have an incident like this where good he shoots Casey Goodson in the back multiple times. And then you have to say, well, why did you shoot him in the back? Why, I mean, why did you shoot anyone in the back? When is anyone who's had their back turned towards you a threat? Especially since he wasn't even the target of your investigation. You wasn't looking for him. But of course, what's even more disturbing that as a pastor, notice he also says, I hunt people. I work for the, uh, the, the UF, U.S. Marshals and I hunt people. I understand the context, but to me, What's the, 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 the sentiment behind with him saying that? He hunts people. Let me read something here that Jesus said. I want to contrast that attitude by what Jesus says. Um, he says here, As he was walking along the Sea of Galilee, he saw two of his brothers, Simon, who was called Peter, and his brother, Andrew. They were casting a net into the sea since they were fishermen. Now, by the way, this is in Matthew chapter 4. Follow me, he told them, and Jesus is he's a friend of Jesus, and I will make you to fish for people. Immediately they left their nets and followed him. Notice what Jesus says, follow me, and I will make you fish for people. And I want to contrast that statement that Mead said with he hunts people. And again, it was the way that he said he hunts people. And as a pastor, and if you look at, again, he was in a room full of pastors in this conversation. They laughed that when he said how he joked about throwing the uh, first punch. Well, was this 
what's this fishing for the people that God wants him to fish for? And is it fishing for people the way God wants you to fish, fish for them? And I want to say this also, too, that we as Christians, as conservatives, need to be very careful. Mead, and this is what really kind of alerted me, that we need to be very careful about how big and bad we operate in the world. That when we, you know, for example, gun toadings. I know Christians who are proud gun owners. Gun owners. Now I was just looking at a, a old dear sister who was showing up her target practice. Uh, you know how good a shot she was. So the question is, are you willing to, and are you cognitive of how Jesus would view when you shoot someone? In Jesus' name. In other words, did did, did Jason Mead shoot K Casey Goodson in Jesus' name? In another in another article, it 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 recounts how Jason Goodson <coughs> would say that he was how justified. Uh, sometimes he you can be he, he he justifies how sometimes you can use force. Now again, that's see that's his attitude, but. Is that Jesus' attitude? There was a pastor a few years ago who said, uh, in um, he was on Trump's um, advisory board, and he came out with some of the most outrageous statements. But he says that that, and again, this oh, let me just he said, God, it God ordained and God gives. The president of the United States. That's what he's saying. The president of the United States' authority to like bomb Iraq, bomb the 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 Muslims. He actually said that. And the reason why I'm bringing this up is because, see, Jason Mead is a Baptist preacher. They run around. They have the same ideology. They they have no problem to it bombing enemies of America as if those same people are not loved by Jesus and that's the problem I think one of the problems we need to reckon with is to say if I step and I'm going to fight someone shoot someone for whatever reason whatever just reason I think is just Am I doing that in Jesus' name? Am I fishing for those whom Jesus wants us to fish for? Am I fishing for people whom Jesus died on the cross for? And by the way, it's the world. And this is why we see throughout history Christians have suffered. The, the, the word suffer itself means to allow. That's really what suffering is. I could retaliate, but for the sake of the gospel. Hard truth. But in this case, it's not even hard because he didn't have to kill Casey Goodson. But it is the, I want us to think about the attitude that will create circumstances like that. I think about that. If I, someone cuts me off, do I? really want to get into a shouting match with them that could end in a fight? Am I fishing for people whom God loves? Think about that. Right? And, and let alone that Jason Mead right now, his family, church, everybody else is going to go through the consequences of his actions. Right? They're going to suffer the consequences of his actions. Because what? He wanted to be, you know, a bad man, a bad. He wanted to be bad. He throws the first punch. Well, he did. But was it more so than the fact that, I mean, again, let me just leave with this. 
Are we fishing for people whom God loves? That's my perspective. Love to hear what you have to say. Hear your thoughts. Um, don't forget to add them to the comment section. And remember, all comments are welcome. And don't forget to like and share this video and subscribe to BP, the Bible Perspective. Till next time, I'll see you then.